I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on solution chemistry. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Dad Destroyer book and the Orgo Man products. I want to go over a question with you that involves molarity and percent composition. So come around and let's have a look. What I want to do is to look at a CUSO4 solution and it has a density of 1.30 grams per milliliter. Or I could have wrote it as grams per centimeters cubed. The molarity is 1.22 molar. And first, I want to name the solute. Well, the minute you see CuSO4, we know that this is a copper sulfate. If you put your hand over this, you should remember that sulfate has a minus two charge and copper therefore would be plus two. Because copper is a transition element, it could have more than one oxidation state. That's something you want to remember for the DAT. If you ever see a transition metal, it often has more than one oxidation state. For example, cobalt could be plus two or plus three. Manganese could be plus two, plus three, plus four, even plus seven. In this case, copper could be either be plus one or, as you can see, plus two. So that's reflected in its name. I would call this copper, put Roman numeral two, sulfate. Copper two sulfate. Part B, I want to find the mass percent of copper two sulfate. Now the mass percent is going to be the grams of this copper two sulfate over the grams of solution times 100. Now, I'm going to show you a great little trick to get grams of solution. Now, the first thing is we know the molarity of the solution is 1.22 molar or moles per liter. Everything is based on moles per liter. They gave you the density. If you multiply 1.30 grams per milliliter by 1,000 mLs per liter, you cross out the milliliters and you're left with the number of grams of the solution in one liter. So we now know the denominator. The grams of the solution, we simply multiply the density by a thousand, and that gives me the grams in a liter. So far, so good. What does 1.22 molar mean? It means there's 1.22 moles of the copper two sulfate per liter. You look up the weight of copper two sulfate, it's 160 grams in a mole. Moles cancel out, and you're now left with the grams of the copper sulfate in a liter of solution. So now that we know we have a liter of solution, we, we want to get the mass percent. So we have 195.2 grams of the solute over the total times 100. On the dad, the numbers will be much nicer, but done with a calculator, we get 15%. I hope this gives you some good clarity on the way I approached this very important question that you'll see on the DAT exam. Okay, good luck to you. Bye-bye.